Hey guys, welcome back to another TFT video. Let's start off with that sword. All right, we get a large rod. So we're gonna buy, uh, sell that. We're gonna get the Zaya. We got another Jarvan, so that makes me wanna buy another Jarvan to get some early two stars. We also have a Yasuo. Let's buy the Yasuo. Oh wait, oh, Cassiopeia. All right, two star Zaya, that's good. That's good. So let's go. So I think I want to go for early Blade Masters. And sure, let's go Infinity Edge. I was wanting to go for the item from the beginning anyways, with the with the items we had. I really don't want to play Nocturne, but sure. All right, so we have, we have a lot of battle casts, but, but I think we're going to go two Celestials and two Snipers. We do have Rakan as well. So Rakan is going to be better because we're going to get some Protector Shield for Jarvan. And Jarvan's kind of our strong frontline unit at the moment. So I don't want to play Battle Cast. And that's why I'm avoiding the Battle Cast like a plague right now. You've noticed that I've seen a lot of Battle Cast, but I didn't buy any of them. I do not want them. I do not want to play them. I think the full battle cast synergy is pretty weak. All right, let's get the ash. The ash is going to be good. All right, let's go to level five and we'll go two snipers. We're going to make this into a blade master game or it's going to be a sniper game. Definitely leaning more towards snipers because we have two ash and two Caitlyn's already good to go. Okay, let me buy this Yasuo. I didn't want to buy him, but you know, just in case maybe that might have happened. Um, I wanted to Econ last turn. We also have Zin Zhao, so four Celestial will be better here. I really want to try six Blade Masters. Uh, they got a buff, so now they have 70% chance to trigger on hit effects. The problem is, if you don't get a lot of good Blade Master items, it's hard to play this comp. You're not going to do well if you play six Blade Masters and let's say you have very awful, like terrible offensive items. Blade Masters love offensive items. Let's do some scouting. So this guy has Sorcerers. He's playing Space Pirate Protectors, Chronos, Protectors, Space Pirate um, Snipers probably. Snipers most likely, Vanguards. And maybe Mystic. Vanguard Mystic, maybe. Okay, so there's definitely uh, a lot of those common comps that are really good right now, which are Snipers, Vanguard Mystics, Protectors. There we go. We got a two-star Ash. That is pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to go for Rabbit on Deathcap. And then we also have Guardian Angel. I wouldn't mind building this one. So give this to Zaya for now. So this could still be a Blade Master game. Our items are pretty offensive, which is a good sign for Blade Masters. All right, let's go 30 gold. We have a Xin Zhao. Uh, I'm not gonna buy him. Let's go to level six. Ooh, a lot of Zayas. A lot of Zayas, another Shen. So what we might do Let's go for three Blade Masters. Make sure to position your guys well for these guys. Always. So you don't want, in this case, your Ash to get pulled. Or your Zaya. I mean, if Zaya got pulled, it's not really a big deal because she has a Guardian Angel. But definitely don't want her to get pulled. So with two Star Caitlyn, we can go for two Chronos and two Sniper bonus. So right now we got three Blades along with snipers so lots of offensive champions and we're just playing with what we're getting itemizing our champions the best as we can and don't af be afraid to level up your guys because if you sell your champion you'll get most of your money back so always keep that in mind so definitely blade masters are free they aren't so popular right now because once again you don't really play six blade masters it's not really a thing, but let's go for the glove. I'm wondering maybe we could try eight Chronos. 
but I'm very skeptical about that one. I think eight chronos. I feel like it's gonna be really bad. But let me buy some chronos. You know what? Never mind. We're just gonna make money. I, I don't believe in the chronos right now. Alright, we got another Ash, Caitlyn. And this is this guy's gonna go for the Oh, he's got a Teemo on his bench. But he has a lot of protectors. So like it looks like he might be trying to go into like a Teemo comp or maybe a Riven. But then he also has protectors, so I don't know what this guy's trying to do. So we're gonna take a look at everybody's composition. So two Star Guardian players. This guy, I don't know if he's trying to go eight chronos. But it looks like he's gonna do snipers eventually. There's one rebel player, and I think like two protectors. There's like two protector players. Okay. We got double mastery. I like that. We got some snipers as well. Two star mastery. Okay. So we can put mastery on the board. So I was actually going to play snipers this game. Yeah, the plan was to actually go into snipers while using Blade Masters here for the early to mid game, but I don't know. I just I really think six Blade Masters will not work, but I have a lot of offensive items. All right, I should have probably built this like two turns ago, since this is the big. Legends Galaxy where you start off with a lot of health points and we did pretty well in the early game You know, we don't have to worry too much about You know rolling here or leveling up. We can just keep saving money But if I want to play Teemo, we need two tiers. We only have one That ribbons taken I guess chain vest We have like We have really good blade master items and we have really good sniper items. So I'm thinking, you know what? Since no one's playing snipers and they're good, why not go for snipers instead? You know, Blade Masters is like a high risk right now. Although I'm pretty sure they can work. It's just a high risk and there's a lot of uncertainty about can we get first with six Blade Masters? Gonna grab the vein again. Now, when you play snipers, you do not have to play four snipers. So we can put Teemo and we can drop Jarvan now. So we have four snipers. Four snipers doing more damage. So if we get another tier, I'm just gonna go snipers, dude. Because uh, Teemo, once he gets the blue buff, he's gonna be instantly strong. Like instantly. No question about it. We got a two star Shan, I can buy that for now. Another Gnar. Sure. Wow, someone got a two-star Urgot already. Oh, this guy, oh my god, he made his Urgot into a rebel, guys. And he has a two-star Urgot. That's that's an insane high roll. I think he got the Urgot from the, one of them from the carousel, though. So he had the help of the carousel. So it turns out we did not get a second tier, unfortunately. And that makes me not want to play Teemo anymore. Like, I think I might just go full blades. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Oh, I should have got the... Dang, I made a mistake. I should have got the Zed, I think, because we have three rebels. I didn't think about Zed. But we'll do play the Roy King, and then we have Hand of Justice or Shroud or Frozen Heart. All of these are really good items. I mean, just because we didn't, we could have still went for snipers though. Like, just because you don't get a blue buff doesn't mean you can't go for snipers. It just means you don't have a good Teemo item. So we definitely want two Mystics, right? So Ash can go. Definitely want two Mystics. Two Star Riven. That's good. So another Riven. Sell the Meeps. Zed. Okay, Thresh is gonna be really good. So we want Thresh. We need Irelia. Yeah, I haven't seen Irelia. Three star Riven incoming, boys. Let's get Riven this. So if you look at the map, there's two and even three, three victor comps. There's three victor comps, 
The Rebels also use some magic damage. I feel like keeping two Mystic is a really good idea, but we could also push for four Chronos. I do see that. But the two Mystic I haven't dropped because it's pretty good right now. Uh, and then we got Wormox. Should I go Wormox? This is pretty good. Let's go. So, let's see. Right, okay, we got the Aurelius. That's good. Another Riven. Yeah, Riven is going to be three stars. Sell this Zaya now. Master Yi. Alright, Aurelia instead of Yasuo. Can we try this? Can I try the... I really want to try this. Guardian Angel. I'm going to give it to Riven. Okay, so... This, I think, Mastery. Yeah. And then I'm going to give these two items to uh, Irelia. Irelia is really good with... Uh, any, any crit combo, give it to Irelia. She is very good with those items. So this team is working right now. Another mastery. There we go. Two star Aurelia. That's good. Let's give these to her. So who has Ribbons? Because Ribbons gonna be three star for us. Nobody. So it seems like the other guys, uh, when they initially held Revan, I guess they all just sold it. So that's good for us. That's good for us. Let's put the locket on mastery. And then glove this. Um, I'm gonna give it to Shen. But the more I think about it, I think it's gonna be four Chronos at level nine. I don't want to drop the Thresh. The Mana Reaver bonus is very strong. Uh, the fact that you can increase mana, and there's so many champions that like to use uh, user's abilities. The fact that you can increase their mana is a huge bonus. I don't want to drop Thresh, so I think it's gonna be four Chronos at level nine. So we got the Blitz. Oh, you could even put Urgot at level 9. In fact, you put Urgot in anything, it's like a free win, right? So let's just go to level 9 now. With the help of Meeps from Bard, we got the 4 Chronos. Good to go. Alright, let's go 4 Chronos now so that we get more attack speed every 3.5 seconds. And this team, like, you know, is working so well. We have not lost a round. Well, we'll buy the Urgot uh, for a really long time. Like, this Riven is really powerful, the Irelia is very powerful right now. And we got Thresh pulling things like Urgot to the board. Uh, it looks like six Blade Masters can work! Uh, my doubt has been erased of the six Blade Masters. So now, since we are at max level, we are looking to replace the Bard with Soraka. She's gonna be a lot better. Wow, he has two Shrouds. Uh, he also has a three-star Syndra. Let's see if he can beat us. I don't think he can. My team is too strong. I was dominating everybody before level 9. But now I have 4 Chronos as well. Sell the Gangplank. Got another Lulu. Oh, should I go Wukong? Blitzcrank's pretty good though. Blitzcrank is pretty good. I, I love his pool. Okay, let's go Soraka instead of the Bard now. And then... Another uh, Thresh. Uh, we got Aurelia, sure. Yeah, we don't really need Yasuo, right? Soraka. Alright. So we gave Blade of the Ruin King to Thresh. And I really want to finish this. Alright, I'm going to drop the Urgot. He's too cheap. I don't want to play him. I really want to finish the Riven. Yes! That's right, that's right. That's right, boys. And Mastery is almost done. <laughs> and we're going to give this Infinity Edge to Mastery. He's going to be 3 stars soon as well. Mastery 3 star is definitely strong. And now we also have a 3 star Riven. It's, it's game over. Like, we have not lost for 7 rounds. This team is insane, guys. Go 6 Blade Masters and win. And that's it. Wow, I never even got the 3-star uh, mastery. But as you guys see, this team does work in rank mode. So there you guys go. This is going to be my first rank game on this account. I'll bring you guys more rank games on this account. I'm trying to level it up.